What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Greatest Nate, here to give you the latest on what's going on here on the campus of Florida a and University. Listen, it is campaign week set Friday, so I have decided to set out and ask some of the candidates some personality questions. You know, you already know their platform points, but I'm here to get the scoop on who they really are. So I want you to come on this journey with me, take a listen, take a gander, and see what some of these candidates had to say. Greetings, I am Keely K. Cole Coleman, a third year biology pre-medicine scholar from Memphis, Tennessee, and I'm humbly vying to be your next Miss Senior Attendant for the 2019-2020 academic year. Thank you. My question for you today is, uh, what is the greatest accomplishment that you've received or have done in the last year? In the last year, my, great, my personal greatest accomplishment was getting over the loss of my sister because it was hard like I lost her early in 2018 I almost didn't come back to school but my mama forced me to come back and then like them you they helped build me up because it's like it's a loving community it's like everybody knew what I was going through they knew they took it slow with me and they understood so like if I had my days they would like come and check on me so like it, I wasn't alone at home I was alone in my bed and like I would have just sunk into a deep place so that was my greatest accomplishment like getting over that I mean I'm still grieving but you know, I'm, I'm out here, I'm being charismatic, like showing my personality to people. So that's how I feel like my greatest accomplishment was. Hey everybody, my name is Aaliyah Bradley and I'm here with Kenya and I'm the campaign manager for Elijah Casey. He's currently out with the Army ROTC, but don't forget to vote Elijah Casey to be your 20th Mr. Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University on Tuesday. Greetings family 21. Do you see the vision? The vision, the Senate. Maya Vision Robinson on the 26th for junior senator. Thank you. My question for you is, why did you decide to study the major that you're currently um, studying right now? Okay, so the reason why I decided to study my current major, I'm a poli-sci major, um, and so the reason for that is um, a couple of years ago, I was influenced by the Trayvon Martin case where um, he was shot and killed in Sanford, Florida, which is a little bit under an hour from, from me. And um, it really moved me, especially the case itself, because it's like he didn't receive the justice that I thought he should have deserved. So that was the main reason, the main push I had for um, being a political science major, so I could go into law and correct those things. Greetings, I am Sid Fleece, a third year public relations student coming from the city where everything is bigger and most definitely better, Dallas, Texas. And I am humbly vying to be your next King of Orange and Green. Please, please, please write in that S, nothing more, nothing less. My question for you is, uh, who is the greatest entertainer of all time, Beyonce or Michael Jackson? Okay, if you want to be honest, I'm going to have to go with Michael. Michael is simply a legend. However, that does not say, I'm not saying that Beyonce is not a, she's amazing. Her work ethic shows, like, she's a hard worker. However, I feel like Beyonce kind of surpassed him a little bit because Michael's death. I feel like we didn't, we, didn't get to, we didn't get to see Michael in his true element for performance with the technology we have today. So I'm going to go with Michael because he, that, that kind of explains why he is the best because he didn't have that much to work with back in the day. He still made it amazing. So Michael's the best. Love you, Beto. Greetings and humble salutations. I am Solomon Lamar, a second year business administration student from the sunny town, West Orlando, Florida. And I'm humbly vying to be your next student body vice president. With true leadership, the possibilities are limits. My question for you is, do you think NCAA athletes should get paid? Yes, sir, I do think they should get paid. Um, just the simple fact that these individuals are putting their life on the line on a daily basis. You see some people that play basketball and they have career threatening injuries. You see people that play football, they have life threatening injuries. Um, injuries. So with them, um, with them accumulating money for these colleges and universities, and majority of these colleges and universities are predominantly white institutions, we have to understand sometimes it makes you think, are these people really just playing for themselves to get more money for their families or are they playing for their school for the people to, that's rich already rich to become more rich and the poor to stay poor? Greetings, I am Taylor Alexandria Hall, a third year political science scholar minor in broadcast journalism from right here in Tallahassee, Florida. And I am graciously trying to be your 113th Miss Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. My question for you is, why was it important for you to attend at HBCU? Thank you for that question. So a lot of people do not understand this or know this, but I actually was an attendant fam at first. I was gonna go to the University of Central Florida, um, but Florida A&M offered me a scholarship and my mom and dad were like, well, there goes the money, so that's where you gotta go. Um, and since coming to FAMU, I've learned so much about myself as a black woman. I believe I'm more confident now than ever. Um, I'm a political science major, so when I step into these arenas, there are not a lot of people who look like me. And they look at me differently because I'm an African-American woman, but FAMU has taught me to be strong 
strong, be confident, and I don't think any other institution could have did that but FAMU and HBCU. Greetings and humble salutations. I am Patrick Thomas, a third year criminal justice pre-law scholar from Uni, New Jersey, and I am humbly and graciously vying to serve as your 20th Mr. Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. And with me, the family matters most. My question for you is, uh, tell me about your relationship with God, especially since you've been here in college. Okay. Well, uh, I grew up in the church, actually. Uh, you know, I came from a Seventh-day Adventist church back in New Jersey. When I came out here, you know, I found a job playing piano in the church. So I'm in the church every week. I grew up singing, playing piano for the love of God. You know, I believe that I'm a very godly man, even though I do sin here and there. But I do believe that, you know, I love the Lord. What's up, everybody? I am Brianna Easy Breezy Williams, a third-year psychology student from West Palm Beach, Florida, and I'm quitting to be your next queen of the orange and the green for 2019-2020 academic year. Remember, easy, breezy, beautiful, family girl. Thank you. My question for you is, uh, who has been your most inspiring or favorite professor here at FAMU? I would definitely have to say Dr. Sims. Um, I'm a psych major, so with Dr. Sims, he's very like Afrocentric and very open-minded, and he's made me an open-minded person, you know, actually experience the world more different than what I expected. So definitely Dr. Sims, Brian Sims, take him if you can. Greetings, I am Jayla JT Tucker, and I'm running for your senior attendant. I plan on doing business catalogs for FAMU so you don't have to go through those hashtags. We're going to support our black businesses at our HBCU. I want to tell you guys about our graduate advisors and how they can put you on a stepping stone so that you're going to be able to get out of here. And I hope you come to my table and check me out. So my question for you is, who inspires you to be great? Well, I would say somebody that inspires me to be great is Michelle Obama because I aspire to be an attorney. And she was a black woman who came from the south side of Chicago and she has persevered her way all the way up. And that's all I can ask to do is just to keep moving up. Hello fellow Rattlers, I am Cornell CJ Francis. I am running to be the next 20th Mr. Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. I need you to get connected. I need you to stay in tune. Get intertwined with your university. I'm here for you. I'm here to recruit. I'm here to work. I'm an agribusiness student and I want to sustain our future, sustain our culture, and sustain this university. Work with me and I work with you. Make sure you vote Cornell CJ Francis to be your next Mr. FAMU. Thank you. My question for you today is uh, what do you love most about FAMU? FAMU definitely just opens up opportunities for anybody, no matter what your culture is, no matter what your race, identity. I think it's, it's so um, opening to in, anybody that wants to do anything. I'm here today because of what, what FAMU taught me from my freshman year, what I've seen before me. And I think FAMU definitely makes you embrace your culture. It's HBCU. I, I recommend it for anybody, no matter your race. So I think it was just a perfect fit. I really didn't have to make a hard decision. It was for me, and it fit for me. And I found, I found my place here, and now, I'm, and now I'm doing what I'm doing. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm pumped. Hey, Rattlers. I am Rebecca Hawkins, and I want you all to get out and vote on Tuesday for Robin and Rebecca for your student body president and vice president. Let's keep Rattlers rising. So my question for you today is, if there is one piece of advice you would give your freshman year self, what would it be? That's a great question. Um, if there's one piece of advice I could give my freshman year self, it would be don't be afraid to try anything. When I first came on this campus, um, I had no idea that junior year I would be running for a position in front of the entire student body. Um, but if you really get out there, you really embrace the FAMU culture, and you go and try different things, meet different people, that will really make your experience better. Um, a lot of people, I feel like if they don't enjoy their FAMU experience, a lot of that is because they didn't try to get out there and try new things. So please, if you're a freshman out there, get out of your dorm, get out here, get involved in the student campus, um, and I feel like it'll really improve your student body experience. So my name is Javaris, and I'm running to be your next king of orange and green. And the reason why you should vote for me is because I want to start a mentoring program right here on the campus of Florida and m University. I don't want to start it nowhere, but right here. I want the kids to come right here, and they can see what black excellence look like. I want them to feel the collegiate level of schooling. I want them to be able to go to a collegiate level school where they're willing to learn and willing to grow, matriculate. At the end of the day, Vote for me, your king of orange and green. My question for you today is, how would you describe your sense of style? Oh, sense of style. Green. <laughs> Nothing else in between. I'm very personable, very intellectual, uh, very stylish, 
helpful. That's me, Javaris. Greetings, I am Adrian Fine, better known as AJ, a third year major in information technology with a minor in business from Miami, Florida. Listen, man, it's simple, you understand? A king of orange and green eat the spirit, different. And that's me, that's AJ. So I, I pray and I hope on Tuesday, you all go out and vote, not just vote, you gotta write me in. Right in, AJ. So my question for you today is, what do you think is the biggest lesson that you've learned in 2019 thus far? Okay, uh, the biggest lesson I learned uh, in 2019 this far is is knowing who's there for you. You understand? Because uh, you will think other people are, and they're really not. And it's important that because certain people will kind of drag you down from your goals, and you don't want that to happen. So I would say that's the biggest lesson I learned so far this year. Greetings and humble salutations. I am Kyra D. Freeman, a third year biology pre medicine student hailing from sunny South Florida, Miami to be exact. I am currently vying to be the 113th Miss Florida Agricultural and Mechanical University. I love this university and I'm ready to serve one more time. Thank you. So the question I have for you today is this. Is there a quote, scripture, or philosophy that you live by? And if so, I would like for you to tell me what it is. Okay. Hi, guys. Um, oh, sorry. Awkward. No, I got you. <laughs> um, my favorite Bible scripture is Jeremiah 29, 11, for God knows the plans he has for us. And also Romans 8, 28. It basically, God's telling us, don't worry. You know, he knows what's going to happen no matter what. And when I had days of doubt and worry, I always refer to my Bible. And another one, when I was in eighth grade, I took an art class. And I found this quote by Picasso, and he said, anything you can imagine is real. So when I have days where I feel like I can do something, I just tell my head, I'm imagining it's going to prosper one day. Well, that's all we have here. This is your boy, Great as Nate. I was here for Campaign Week Set Friday. I want you all to make sure you go out and vote, because these are your leaders. They're your representatives, and it's very important to be represented properly. So thank you for tuning in. See you all next time.